Hello YouTube, just a quick video today because uh, I obviously bought a piston repair kit. This is a new old from Scrapyard for a Fiesta. Now I was struggling to put this piston boot obviously on the piston, over the piston, onto the caliper itself. Because I get it on all the way around, and I'd fight, and I'd have three hands on it, and get it all the way around. And then as soon as I let go, it just went like that. Obviously, it sat on the piston, but it just would not physically sit on that, no matter what I did, no matter how many times I swore at it. <laughs> Which obviously we didn't record that, but yeah. So I did a bit of searching, and it turns out that on the Fiesta caliper there's actually a metal ring inside the boot. Now I'm going to get this one off just so I can show you. So you get it, get a little screwdriver in there and you literally just kind of prise it off all the way around. back, you get in there, press it up, and there you go, that comes off, and obviously you can uh, remove the piston, but for now, I'm not going to do that. What I am going to do is pull the piston boot itself, put the ceiling ring, I want to call it. It's not called that, but you need to be careful if you're using anything sharp. Oh, come on, little beastie. You need a thousand watt spotlight. Go and then we just pop that out. Et voila! Now, yeah, you can see that's actually a different shape to the one I bought. Now, I wouldn't mind, but I bought this as a Ford Fiesta caliper repair kit. It came with uh, two new ones of the slide pins, uh, slide pin protector things, whatever it's called. Uh, it came with the uh, with the inner piston ceiling ring. Uh, it came with the uh, popper for the bleed nipple. And yeah, I was fighting with it. And I was fighting for quite a few hours to be fair if I'm completely honest yeah good I get it on I'd manage and fight with it and get it on all the way around because everything that I saw and everything that I read didn't mention anything about the metal ring so I'd get it on and it'd look all up plumb and then it would just go like that and I was like I did a bit more searching and um, yeah there's a metal ring it's actually embedded inside the boot itself so when you're buying them make sure that it looks like that not like that just because that's the wrong one and it won't work I mean I, I think this is pretty much a universal one that's supposed to go inside the piston whereas as you've, as you've just seen this has to sit on the outside um, and yeah installation is just reverse of taking it off and you force that on all the way around make sure you put the outside boot on maybe 
maybe use a screwdriver to make your life easier. But I don't know. I've only got over five here. There you go. That's how easy that is. Instead of fighting with it for hours. And as you're putting it back on, make sure if you are using anything even remotely sharp, be careful because you don't want to put a brand new boot on and then it go through the actual boot. You'll see that properly, yeah? And also, if you are struggling a little bit, what you can do is you, I suggest you put it on at the back first. And then if it's kind of fighting you a little bit, either get in here. I get my fat head out of here. Get in there and lift it up a little bit and that should release some of the air that's stuck. Or if not, just do what I do and just release the, break, the, the bleed nipple. But yeah, we are going to completely refurbish this. And I'm going to do a proper video on that. Putting all new boots in, put all brand new ones of these in. We're going to get in there, we're going to clean the piston. Well, actually we're going to put a new piston in. Um, but yeah, we shall do a video on that. So thank you very much for watching. Um, if you want to see any other videos that I do, um, please have a look and subscribe. Thanks for watching.